Georgina Rodriguez is a gold digger? Is she only after Cristiano Ronaldo's money? Whoa! Ever since CR7 and his new bow hooked up in 2017, they've had all the tongues wagging and the cameras swinging. See, Georgina Rodriguez is one of the most beautiful women on the planet, and now she's on Ronaldo's side. His fans decided to do a little digging into her past, and the stuff you're about to find out will blow your mind. Georgina Rodriguez was born in 1994 to an Argentine dad named Jorge Rodriguez and a Spanish mom named Ana Marie Hernandez. Yep, she's actually from Argentina. Growing up, Georgina had it tough. See, even though her dad Jorge used to be a former pro baller, he couldn't quite make it big and saved up for his family, and after he retired, they were just managing to survive. Jorge desperately wanted to do something to change his family situation and give them a better life. But instead of working hard and becoming a success, he took the easy way out. And before they could figure out what was going on, they turned on the TV one day and realized that dad was in big trouble. Jorge got arrested for drug trafficking. Georgina's mom tried everything to get Jorge out, but the court found him guilty and had him locked up on a drug trafficking charge for 10 years. This was a huge blow to the family because with Jorge gone, the little money they had coming in was locked up too. Georgina and her family struggled together, and it wasn't just her, it was her dreams too. See, as a little kid, Georgina always wanted to become a dancer, a ballerina, so she enrolled in a dancing school. But as soon as she got in, she eventually found out she had a big problem that was going to crush her dreams. Dance school was really expensive. With no money coming in, Georgina soon realized it was a challenge she wouldn't be able to face on her own. And although her mom and sister tried their best to get her through, it was all too much, man. And so with tears in her eyes, Georgina had to drop out. This decision really hurt her, but she still remained positive. See, Georgina believed she could help her family get out of poverty and make them super rich, so she turned her attention to something else. And instead of dance, she decided to focus on fashion. But there's one issue standing in the way. To get into fashion, she needed the money first, and this time, Georgina wasn't prepared to sit down and feel sorry for herself. So one day, she packed her bags, called her mom and sister in, and told them her plans. Mom, Ivana, I'm going to Madrid. Georgina figured if she worked a couple of odd jobs in the beginning, maybe she'd be able to pay her way into the fashion world. She booked a ticket and hopped on the next train ride to start working as a waitress. After a couple of months in Madrid, Georgina needed a bigger pay rise and moved further downtown to Sem Sebastian, a three-hour drive from home. And when she got there, she was able to bag a job at Mosami Duty. This was the job she needed to get her closer to her dream life because with a bigger pay coming in now, she could finally start saving up to get into fashion. But she knew she needed just one more thing to complete her goal. And just as she was about to achieve her target, her phone rang. And when she picked up, she got the devastating news. Gio, Gio, it's mom. Come quick, Gio. Mom's dead. Her sister called her and dropped the bombshell. Georgino's mom, Anna, got involved in a car accident. And despite the doctors trying their best to save her, her mom couldn't make it. And sadly, Anna passed away. Georgina was heartbroken. Losing her dad to prison early on was tough. But now, she was finally starting to get a life for herself and fulfill her childhood promise of taking her family out of poverty. And now, her mom was gone. It was all too much for her. And just when she felt like giving up on herself, her closest friends came to the rescue and made her smile again. This time, Georgina had a new mission to make her mom proud wherever she was. See, she knew how much her mom wanted to see her succeed in fashion. So she became extra determined to make it and beat her last obstacle. Georgina needed to learn how to speak English. It's a huge must for anyone who wants to become a big time designer. And unlike her dad, Georgina was motivated to work hard and fulfill her goal. So she took a huge risk and hopped on the next flight down to the UK. In there, Georgina worked as a nanny in Bristol, where she earned 950 pounds per hour. Whoa, she's getting all that for changing baby diapers? Hook me up, Gio. With the money steady flowing now, Georgina was able to pay for her English lessons, and because she was so determined, it only took her a couple of months to become a pro in English. The last stage was completed. Finally, this was it. All that hard work had started paying off, and she was able to save up too. So after her English classes were done, Georgina decided as cool as Bristol was, she wanted to return back home to Spain and be with her sister and close friends. So she said her goodbyes and flew down home to reunite. 
And this time, she came back a different person. Because with her new experience and English speaking skills, she could finally apply for the job that was going to launch her career and make her mom proud. So she went down to a Gucci store in the city, and after they saw her qualifications, there is no way they'd turn her down. She got offered a job as a sales representative immediately, and this proved to be the biggest decision of her life, because working as a sales rep for one of the biggest brands in the world, she had to meet a lot of influential people on a daily basis. And one day, just when she thought she couldn't meet anyone bigger, this dude walked in, and as soon as they set their eyes on each other, she knew he was going to change her life. Coming into the Gucci store that day, Cristiano Ronaldo had a lot on his mind. See, he'd been with a couple of women in the past, and his previous relationship with Russian model Irina Shak didn't end well, because after four years together, they broke up. The reason for the breakup mainly had to do with Irina not going along with CR7's mom, and it hurt him bad. That was the longest relationship he had ever been in, and after the split, Ronaldo wasn't sure he'd ever find love again. So he stayed off the dating game for a couple of months until he walked into the store and met Georgina. And once he realized how beautiful she was, he just couldn't take his eyes off her. Ronaldo was determined to find out more about the woman that was making him go nuts all of a sudden. So after a brief conversation the first time, Ronaldo came back to the store again for seconds. And this time, he wanted to make Georgina speak more to him. But there was a catch. Georgina was extremely shy after meeting Ronaldo. I mean, to be fair, who wouldn't? The guy is the most popular athlete in the world and the most followed person on social media. Ronaldo knew he had to get her comfortable before she could open up to him. So he offered to take her out on a first date and to ease her nerves, he had her watch all the videos on our channel and even showed her how to subscribe. Damn, it did the trick, man, because once Georgina saw all the videos on the channel, she was hooked. And as they bonded, she opened up about her life to Ronaldo, and they realized they both had a lot in common. See, Ronaldo, just like Georgina, came from a poor family, and he had to grind his way to the top by dedicating himself to the sport. And once Ronaldo got to find out just how much energy and passion Georgina had for her job, he was impressed, and right there, he knew he would found the woman he'd been searching for all these years, and it won't make any sense to waste time. So he asked Georgina to become his girlfriend, and she agreed. It was like a match made in heaven, like they'd been waiting for each other. Man, I've got to find my own woman. This stuff is making me tear up. Ronaldo knew because of his popularity and his status, Georgina was going to get hunted down by the press, so he tried to hide his relationship from the public and make it a secret. But come on, Ronnie, you've got over 200 million followers on IG. Did you really think no one would find out? Once the media got the scoop out about Ronaldo's new partner, it was chaos. They stalked Georgina all the way to her workplace and followed her around everywhere. As she got closer to Ronaldo, they decided it would be best if Georgina quit working at the Gucci store so she'd have her private life back. They became even closer, and in 2017, Georgina and Ronaldo gave birth to their first child, Alenia Martina, to cement their relationship. But you see, there was something else. Ronaldo didn't want Georgina to feel like any of the women in his past. He wanted her to know she was special to him. She meant the world to him. So he went out, got the most expensive proposal ring in football history, and got engaged with Georgina. But the thing is, guys, it hasn't always been roses for Ronaldo and Georgina. Because in 2022, after the couple announced that Georgina was pregnant with twins, the delivery date came, and as Ronaldo got to the hospital, he met the doctors in a frenzy trying to meet him. And before he could figure out what was going on, he got the saddest news of his life. We're sorry, Ronaldo, but one of the twins, Angel, couldn't make it. This news hurt Ronaldo and Georgina, but after taking some time off, they understood that together, they were stronger than anything, and it only gave them more energy to push their relationship. Unlike what most people think, Georgina doesn't depend on Ronaldo to be successful. She's a top supermodel with lots of endorsement deals with mega brands, and she's even got her own documentary series on Netflix about her life. Amazing! She'd probably have continued working at Gucci and become one of the best worldwide reps if she hadn't met Ronaldo. But now she's with CR7, she's combined her business with starting a family, and she's killing it. But I have to admit, until she ties the knot with Ronaldo, she's probably still thinking about the X's on Ronaldo's list. And they're freaking huge. Want to find out about the top footballers like Ronaldo who've dated other celebrities? Just click the video.